Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, look at that. You can see lights and everything. Let me see if I can ship that over. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? All right. Just wondering if everybody can hear me. Hey, Joe. There's a PJ here? <laughs> wow, nice to meet you. You have a great name. <laughs> uh, Angrahad, Kelly, who else is in the house? Caroline, Tammy, Jenna, Brooks, baby. Awesome. You can hear me and see me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, Susan. Well, everyone's coming in fast and furious. I absolutely love it. So here's the scoop. Um, you're going to need one moderate size dumbbell. I'm using a 15, only one. Um, and, you know, depending on how you're feeling today, you might want to bring it down too. So you might want to grab a, a lighter dumbbell. Hi, Laura. Hi, Debbie. Um, and then uh, a mat, because we're going to actually use the mat rolled up for our warm up drill. I've got a really cool warm up drill I want to do. Hi, Rose. Sahara, I am, or Sahar, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your names wrong. Christy, Christy and crew. Mwah. Jill, Roxanne, Amy, Amy from Idaho. I just met a couple from Idaho in, uh, when we were down in Mexico. So Idaho people are pretty damn cool. All right, rolled up mat. Yeah, now you, now John is intrigued. So you're gonna need a rolled up mat. You see how mine's rolled up? Yeah, cool. If you don't have a mat, grab yourself a couple of pillows that you don't mind putting your heels on or two small light dumbbells. Mark and Karen, my buddies, uh, two small dumbbells that you can put your heels up on. And we're going to get busy in about two minutes. So get your gear together. You're going to need water. I, this is a pretty epic workout I designed. I had it designed before I left for Mexico. And then, you know, lying around in the sun, I got thinking and I thought of a couple of new uh, cool drills. So yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna sweat today. So we're um, starting now in one minute. As you're coming in, by all means, please type in the chat box where you're from. Your name will appear as it appears as you've uh, signed in with YouTube. Hey, Julie. Hi, Anne. D from Texas. Adrian. Mwah. Bella's just over to the side there. I would turn the camera, but then I'm afraid I won't get the right shot again. <laughs> uh, Meredith from Texas. We have a few Texans in the house. Nessie from the UK, you guys got snow like we do? We're in Vancouver and we have unprecedented cold weather, which really sucks after coming home from Mexico. <laughs> it's a little hard to acclimatize oneself. All right, you guys. So for those of you with watches, <laughs> let's start the watches. I have an Apple watch and for most of my workouts, I use the hit intensity setting. So let's get her started. You guys ready? You ready to rock this? All right, let's get going. All right, we're gonna turn on the timer here. All right, welcome. Third annual live stream workout, Fitness with PJ YouTube channel. And we also have my over 50 fitness crew in the house too. So a big to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And some of you have dragged your husbands with you as well. So this is great. Um, I know my buddy Mark's probably watching this from the couch. So big mwah to you, buddy. He probably wishes he would be rather working out though. All right, shall we get warmed up? Awesome. Here we go. Feet apart. Let's just bring the knees up towards the chest. As I mentioned, you're going to want a rolled mat behind you. We're putting your heels up on the mat. If you don't have a mat, grab a couple of um, pillows or use your posts for dumbbells. Good. Four more. Here's four, three, two, one more. One. All right. Get your heels up on the mat. Feet shoulder width apart. Deal. 
Awesome. Now, hip hinge, come down, grab onto your toes, drop your hips all the way down. Yes, I want a deep squat. Come on, give it a try. Perfect. Now, sit yourself upright. Good. Right arm straight up, left arm straight up, shoulder blades back and down, and stand. You ready? Let's do that again. Hip hinge, grab onto the toes, drop the bum, lift the chest. Right, left, stand. Two more. Hip hinge. Down. This is to warming everything up. So do your best on getting your bum all the way down. Now, in this time, we're going to stay down, okay? Do the arms up first. Perfect. And now bring them down. Excellent. Now, push against the one knee and reach up and twist. Good. The other side. So now we're adding some T-spine rotation while we sink deep into the hips, knees, and ankles. Excellent. Four more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Stand on up. All right, hips should be warmed up. Get your mat out for me. Feet hip width apart. Knees are soft. Hands light behind the ears. Give me a hip hinge for a good morning and then drive back up. So for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I really preach this hip hinge so that we're hinging from the hip joint, not from your waistband. So you're not rounding that lower lumbar. That's a good way to get yourself a herniated disc. So bum back, knee soft. Excellent. Warming up into the hamstrings here. Now we'll add a lunge and two more. Here we go. One more. Stay upright. Step back, lunge. Other leg lunge. Good job, and back to good morning. Good, now your lunge can be here, right? It's a hip extension. If you find that bending the knee is irritating to the um, knee joint itself. You take it as deep as it feels comfortable for you. If you're able to, we want that knee to come right down to your mat. Knee soft, hip hinge, elbows back, chest lifted. Good job, it's a lunge each leg, warming up everything in the lower body. And then learning that hip hinge for one of our movement patterns that we're doing with our strength with that good morning. Excellent. We have two more. One more. And release. All right, starting down on the mat, our first series is warming up into the core. Grab your dumbbell, place it just behind your right wrist. In 30 seconds, we're gonna get busy here. So we have three rounds of three different core moves to get that core warmed up. Modified, you're going to stay on the knees, otherwise you're up off of the knees. The dumbbell's just behind that right wrist, you're gonna pick it up, step it across to bed mat behind the other wrist and so forth. All right, we have 30 seconds on the clock, as I said, 15 second transition to get into our next ab move and then three rounds of those. You ready? Of course you are, you showed up, you're ready. All right, dumbbell behind a wrist. Here we go, get set up in your plank, ready? Pick the dumbbell up, place it the other side of the mat. Now, feet are apart, we don't want those hips moving. We want that core engaged. Take it slow and controlled. We're not in a race. The race comes in a bit. <laughs> right now we're just activating your core. Wrists under the shoulders. Good job. Couple more reps. Time. Leave your dumbbell there on your back. Bring your legs what we call tabletop. Knees over hips, ankles lined up with the knees. Arms straight up. Now, pull your belly button, anchor your spine to the mat. Slowly extend your left leg down to the ground. Don't let that low back lift. Now your right leg. Great job. Add the opposite arm now. Arm stays straight. Thumb coming down to your floor. Alternating for our dead bug pattern. So this is osteoporosis, osteopenia friendly as well. Hitting the deep core muscle, getting it activated and warmed up because we're going to need that deep core. Fire it up for our strength-based moves. Time. All right. Round one is done. Okay. Dumbbell is what? 
behind the wrist, yes? On the knees or the toes. What do we want to do with those hips? We want to keep them quiet. All right, keep them quiet. Ready? Pick the dumbbell up. Go. And breathe, right? <laughs> I'm already feeling my core. How about you? Now we will add on to the dead, dead bug pattern if you feel that you want to intensify it. Time. So if you want to intensify it, we were using the dumbbells and we are going to lower both arms down with the dumbbell as the heel drops down, okay? That's optional or stay with single arm. Ready, go. Now with the dead buck, please remember the whole idea of this is as we're moving the limbs, your low back wants to lift off. You're using that deep core muscle to keep that neutral spine. So don't let it lift up. If it lifts up, then I want you to limit how far you drop the arm in the leg. Deal, deal. Are you breathing? Okay, good. Don't worry about when to breathe, just breathe. Time, all right, one more of each and then we're moving on. Dumbbell behind the wrist, remember. You've got that option, right? You can go onto the knees if you want to modify. Keep the tush down though, don't pike it up. Ready, set, and go. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> this might be too much information for you, but man, I was so nervous starting this. I do, I get nervous when I do lives. I had diarrhea. <laughs> there, I said it, it's out there. <laughs> Carly, my better half here at Fitness with PJ, calls it the nervous shits. <laughs> oh, I had the nervous shits. <laughs> but now that I get going, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so you got the option. Just thought I would entertain you with that. Here we go, legs and tabletop. Pull the belly button in towards the spine with the dumbbell or without the dumbbell. Totally up to you and go. It's funny, I only get <laughs> nervous with lives online. I've taught groups of 30 to 50 people, which is quite large, for a group exercise. and I don't get nervous. I don't know why. All right, now we're moving on to a strength complex after this to get ourselves ready with the dumbbell. So we're standing time right now. All right, deal, mirror me. We have three rounds of the same leg. It's a hang, clean, and jerk. So take a look. We bring it up, use the legs a bit, and bring it up, okay? So let's try it, here we go. So we use the hips to get it up, use the legs a bit to press it up. So it's not a deep squat and then finish slow. So down, perfect. Let me go to my side so you can see, all right? So we bump back, use the hips to drive that dumbbell up. Good. So staying really strong and stable, time. Yes, now don't change arms. We have three rounds, same arm. I thought, why not? Let's stay with the same arm. <laughs> All right, so feet are just shoulder width apart or hip width. You don't want them wide on this. Push your bum back, swing it up, drive it up. Finish slow, good. Other hand, I like it just resting on my hip. Now, the great thing today about using just one dumbbell is we will be really firing up a ton more core. Um, that was great English, I know. <laughs> a ton of core. <sighs> is we're using single arm. We call it unilateral training. And your opposite side, oblique here, is really fired up. Time. Now, do note that everything we're doing right now is still our warm up. <laughs> All right, we got one more to go, and then we'll take the other arm. Here we go, feet where? Right, rooted, hip width. Ready, go. Root yourself. Apparently that means something totally different in New Zealand. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> I think it's a little de derogatory in New Zealand. 
Now, this is where I want you to go a little heavier. I want you to struggle on this. I want you to have to work for this. It shouldn't come easy. Time, okay? All right, other hand. So keep your feet there. All right, and note that one side could be stronger than the other. So give yourself some respect there. All right, let's do the hip hinge. Drive it up, little knee bend to help press it up. We have a neutral spine. That's why we're sitting the bum back and hinging to that hip joint that we learned in warm up. Time, okay? Two more of those, and then we move into a cardio portion. My buddy George is just behind the camera. George, you want to come say hi to everyone? Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> I'm not coming near those lights. Go. Chicken. Oh, there you are, buddy. Coming in. Come on. Come on. Tina's on the camera. <laughs> His buddy Tina's doing the workout with us right now. Time. All right, one more, and then we move into a cardio portion, and then into our strength. You ready? In three, two, one, let's go. By the way, you're gonna wanna stick around to the very end. I found us a really special poem that I wanna read to you as we stretch. Last 10 seconds. One more, come on. Time, all right. Dumbbell on the ground beside you. Here's the scoop. You're gonna jump over. You can either do one at a time or both. And then when you get to the other side, we have a lunge with each leg. And again, you bend the knee as deep as it feels comfortable for you. Let's try it. Here we go. If we do one legged, that's what it looks like. We lunge each leg. Back over. Good. Now, if you do two legged, yeah. Now we like that impact, right? We want a little bit of impact, especially if you're over the age of 50. We want to build that bone density. And land soft. One more. Finish the lunge, finish the lunge. Good, all right, now, I'm gonna replace the lunge with a burpee. If you want to join me, join me. If you want to say, screw it, PJ, I'm not interested, you stick with the line. Ready, set, go. Now, when we do the burpee, remember, you're bending your knees to get your hands down there. The hands are close to the feet. Kick the legs out, or you can step them out as well. Come on, last burpee of 2021. <laughs> Time, all right, one more, and then we switch the timer and move into our strength. You get warm yet? <laughs> yeah, my heart rate's there. You ready? All right, ready, let's go up. Lunge or burpee. Thirty seconds is a long time, isn't it? Almost there. Let's go. Time. Woo. All right. March it on the spot. Grab a sip of water if you need it. I know I do. How are we doing in with the comments? Whew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carly. Yeah. Carly, can you remember how many people are on here? I'll forget. 
Okay, water. I'm changing the timer. We have strength movements, compound movements. So we are gonna work a ton of muscles. All right, 45 seconds on the clock, 15 second transition, eight movement patterns, two rounds. So march it on the spot. Let me get my timer set up. All right. If you're wondering what app I use, it's called Tabata Pro. Um, I like it. It's free too, which is even better. All right, we good? So when I turn this on, we got 15 seconds for setup. So just wanna make sure we're all ready. Yeah, all right, here we go. Start on. All right, me or me? Dumbbell in this hand, all right? We're going to bring it up, pull the shoulder back down, lock it above, take that same side leg and bring it down for a lunge. All right, if you have shoulder issues, you're gonna keep your arm there, go. So anybody with shoulder or neck issues, keep your hand down, all right? With your lunge pad, remember what I taught you, you can do a hip extension, all right, to work into the glutes and lengthen the hip flexors. If bending that back knee just isn't gonna work for you. For those of you that can bend, can you get it all the way down to your mat? Good, excellent. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more, drive the knee up and work your balance. Whoop. <laughs> So focus your stare on something stationary. So these are all options I give while we get into the movement. So I want you to find the one that's gonna challenge you, not the one that you're comfortable in. <laughs> Time, deal? Don't change arms. Let's do that hip hinge, feet hip width apart. Good, arms slightly ahead. Now pull the shoulder back and down. Row up, elbow just past the rib cage, not any higher, lower. Turn the palm towards your thighs, row wide, okay? So we alternate our grip and rotate the arm so we hit different muscles, different fibers, I should say, of your lats and traps and rear delt. Now, one problem I see with this, is a lot of people jam that elbow up there. We don't need to do that to get your lat involved. It needs to just stay tight to the rib cage and drive just a little past the waist neutral spine and guess what you've got the opposite side obliques fired right up to hold this position good for you come on almost there time all right switch arms so we've got the other side now with the lunge deal so arm up if you'd like down if that bothered the shoulder or neck pull the shoulder back and down same leg step back it could be a hip extension or it can be a deep lunge, or it can be in between. Your workout, again, find what's going to challenge you, not what you're comfortable with. Now, if you'd like, let's add that balance. Drive the knee up, softness in the stabilizing leg. Gaze is on something stationary. Good, and that arm is not moving, my friend. Elbow is locked out. We put some imaginary duct tape around that elbow joint. Slow and controlled. Again, time. This one's not a race, all right? So now we hip hinge. Feet are hip width apart, knees are soft. Bum goes back. See that spine? Same spine standing, same spine here. Drive up. Palm facing me, drive wide. Good. Now, once you see me, I want you to look up ahead a bit. Get the neck in line with the spine and give me a bit of a chin tuck. Now, we're on our backs to work into the chest, triceps, and glutes. So we get to lie down. <laughs> That's my husband's favorite exercise. <laughs> Supine. Loving husband can do the best lying down exercise ever. And he can stay there for hours. He's a champ. Hey. 
Time. All right, now place the dumbbell in the other hand and let's get down onto the mat. Elbows in tight to the rib cage, palms facing you. Heels close to the bum. Now start with the hip bridge for me. And we're just gonna hold that hip bridge static. Now listen carefully. Let's press the arm straight up. Now bring that dumbbell, bend the elbow, bring it towards the opposite shoulder and press it back and then lower the dumbbell down. Now this may be really challenging for you if you have a heavy dumbbell. So if it is, then get rid of the tricep portion of it, which is coming across to the shoulder. Again, compound movement. So we're working more than just your pecs here. Triceps are engaged, Whew. front shoulder, glutes, hips, hamstrings. <clears throat> when the timer goes, time, which is right here. I want you to lower down, grab the dumbbell with the other hand and just place it on the ground beside you. Now, whatever hand that dumbbell was in, the arm that you just worked, that foot stays on the ground and lift up into bridge. Now straighten the other leg, slowly lower the heel to the ground, keep the hips even and drive the leg back up. Do it again. So we're gonna hold this static bridge, heels close to the bum and hips are gonna stay even. So don't let that leg that's dro dropping down, don't let that hip rotate towards your mat as the leg lowers. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And say, Happy New Year to your butt. Holy cow. Whew. So I call this a moving bridge. This is a really great move too. If you do have sensitivity in the knees, time. So we'll build up the muscles that can sometimes be weak and cause that knee discomfort with squats and lunges. All right, let's grab that dumbbell now. We've got the other arm. We start with a narrow chest press. So here we go, bridge up. Narrow press, dumbbell comes across to the opposite shoulder, straighten the arm, finish the narrow press. Again, bringing that hand across the opposite shoulder might be really challenging because of the size of the dumbbell you have because we're just solely isolating the triceps there. Just stick with the narrow press then. Now we have moving bridge on the other leg coming up. <clears throat> Time. Woo. All right, dumbbell down. Okay, we've got the other leg. Bring that heel close to the bum. Lift the hips up, arms down by your side. Straighten that leg. All right, here we go. Slowly lower that heel to your ground. Keep those hips even and bring it up again. So I went all out for this workout too. I even shaved my legs and my armpits for you. <laughs> there we go. Now you know everything I did this morning, my grooming habits and my bathroom habits. I'm like an open book. Whew. Now, great news, this is our last move. We're taking from the top that lunge pattern when the timer goes. So one more of everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. Now we're saying hello to the other glutes. Time. Woo, baby. All right, here we go. Let's stand. Mirror me. So dumbbells in this hand. That's your right hand. Your right leg's going back. So dumbbell can rest at the shoulder or join me with it straight up in the air. Find your balance. Lunge it. Take it as deep as you feel comfortable. So what's everybody up to tonight? I think for most of us in the world, COVID decided that for us. <laughs> Loving husband and I are going to a movie. They've got 50% capacity in our theaters where I live. One arm row with this arm coming up and a couple more reps. 
time. So don't change the arms, all right? So feet hip width. Let's practice that hip hinge. It's super, super important. Please nail this one. Here we go. Abs engaged. Elbow up. Palm facing you. Go wide. But in Canada, they've really, or in BC, I can't speak for all provinces, but BC, they've really dropped the hammer. All nightclubs are closed. Restaurants are open and they're serving alcohol, but I think it's limited to six people per table. Um, house parties, obviously, no. Gyms are shut down now in BC as well. Time. Okay, so now we've got the other arm with the reverse lunge. Yeah, and then for us to get back to Canada from Mexico, we need to take two PCR tests because, you know, one's not good enough. Yeah, that was dripping with sarcasm. Here we go. Other leg up and step back. Again, bend that knee as deep as it feels good for you. Find your balance. Focus on something stationary. Canada doesn't recognize the rapid test, which I believe the States and UK do. So the PCR is where they swab up your nose. And basically, they go so high up your nose, they tickle childhood memories. <laughs> It goes up there. <laughs> Time. Okay, so we've got the row with this arm, yeah? Perfect. Feet hip width. Give me that hip hinge. Abs engaged. Arms slightly head to the shoulder. Shoulders are squared. Drive up. Palm facing you. Go wide. Now take that gaze slightly ahead. Remember that chin tuck. So on these eight movement patterns that we're doing for the strength, I can absolutely guarantee you, you are working every muscle in your body. So I've made sure that you get a balance of movement, both front and back of the body. We also focus on what tends to be a little weaker on a lot of us, the triceps, hamstrings, and glutes. So, this workout is served up hot. Time. Woo. All right, dumbbell on the other hand. Let's take it down to the bridge with the narrow chest press. Heels close to the bum, elbows in tight, wrist over the elbow. Now lift the glutes. Press up, and if you'd like, add that across body tricep extension. And then elbow comes down and finishes the chest press. Keep squeezing those glutes. Press through those heels. Woo, baby. Time. All right. So whatever hand this dumbbell is in, that's the foot that's going to stay on the ground, okay? Let's take the dumbbell to the other side of the body. Lift the hips up. Keep that leg on the ground. Other one extends straight up. Lower the heel. Hips stay even. And come on up. I'm curious, too, after the workout, let me know how the sound is. I'm using my earbuds. Holy cow, does this fire up that glute, huh? <laughs> I don't have to tell you, do I? 
Time. Woo. All right, here we go. Grab the dumbbell with the other hand. So remember, we've got that narrow press, wrist over elbow. Now drive the hips up, both feet stay on the ground for this one. Press straight up, go across the body. Now, for those of you that aren't a part of Over 50 Fitness or my Patreon community, make sure you get yourself signed up for my 25 and 25 challenge. We kick off on time on Monday. So you just head to the website and get yourself signed up. You'll love it. <laughs> All right, so that foot stays on the ground. Here we go. Lift your hips up. Let's straighten the other leg. Ready and slowly lower. Heel to ground. This is our last move. We grab a sip of water and then we move into a couple of finishers. Slow and control with that leg dropping down. Do your best, keeping it straight. Time. Good job, crew. All right, sip of water. Yeah? Awesome. You can move that dumbbell out of the way. I think I can move my camera in closer, can't I? Yeah, way to figure that out near the end of the workout, PJ. Sorry. I'm full of great ideas. Is that better? That's a lot better. Sorry, guys. Okay. We're readjusting the timer. Now, you need access to a wall. If you don't have access to a wall, don't worry about it. You can do it um, off of a wall, too. We have a two-minute wall set. Can't remember if I've done this one with you yet. If I haven't, it is coming in the future. <laughs> and I remember the last time I recorded this one. It freaking killed me. So... There's some good news for you, right? <laughs> Way to sell the exercise, hey, PJ? <laughs> You're about to do a move that totally sucks. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> but you will be really happy when you're done. Okay, we have a two-minute wall sit. If you don't have a wall to sit on, you will do a freestanding static um, squat, okay? I'm going to use this side of the wall. For those of you that know why, it's because here there is no support and I'll go right through into the fireplace and my husband won't like that. So let's get set up. We have 15 seconds on the clock. I think we can still move in, can't we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, ready? No? No? What the hell are you doing? Come on. All right, find a wall. Feet away from it and shoulder width. Don't start yet. Wait for the timer. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Now let's slide down. Go down as deep as you can. Perfect. Now bring your hands to the inside of the knees and try to bring the knees together and you're resisting with your hands. Slide the chin in so the back of the head as well as your shoulders are against the wall. Woo. Oh my goodness. So we're working inner thigh isometrically here while we hold this isometric wall sit. So this is very good for the knees. We have 30 seconds here, and then we bring the hands to the outside of the knees in three, two, one. Here we go. Bring them to the outside. Try to bring the knees out, and you're resisting with your arms. So we're getting some biceps fired up as well. Back of the head still against the wall. I just noticed mine was going forward. Uh -huh. So things should be getting pretty toasty in the quadriceps now. 
And if you're wondering, PJ, where are my quadriceps? It's that burning muscle right now in the front of your thigh. Happy anatomy lesson. Okay, now let go. All right, and lift up one heel lower than the other heel. Woohoo! So we alternate heel lifts while we hold the wall set. I know, but we are almost there. Less than a minute. Come on. Who's typing? You shouldn't be typing. I'm seeing comments. You should be doing the wall set. Unless you're typing doing the wall set, then I have mad respect. One more. Now just hold. 30 seconds. Woo! Come on. Come on. Do what you got to do. Find your happy place. Shake your arms, I don't care. But we have 17 seconds. Do not move out of this squat. Come on, we're all in this together. Worldwide, man, this is super effing cool. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness me. Oh, okay, and then walk it out. Oh, that's intense, eh? All right, high five. <laughs> High five. Oh. Huh. There we go. All right. We got one more finisher to do. And then we stretch. I need a sip of water. I don't know about you. Wall sits get me every time. Okay. Woo. They're a really good move, though, especially if you have arthritis in the knees because there's no movement in the knee joint. So it's a great way to hit your quad without irritating the knees. All right. We have an ab finisher. I gotta change the timer again. Six rounds, 20 seconds on the clock of a plank. I know this just keeps getting better and better, hey? <laughs> now nah, we got this, this is no problem. All right, 10 second break in between for you advanced people. All right, what you're gonna do is hold a plank. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's get set up. We have 15 seconds, so that means we're in a plank. You're either on the knees for modified or you're on the toes. You ready? Here we go. Forearms on the mat. All right. Now, if you're doing modified, this is you modified, and then you'll lift one leg up, okay? If you're with me, let's come all the way up, okay? And now drop one knee down. So it's a knee tap to the ground and you could let it rest there for a breath. 20 seconds on the clock. And then if you can, for the 10 second rest, we will hold a static plank. Deal? Okay. Time. Now see if you can hold the static plank. Now for those of you that are on the toes, only for those of you that are on the toes, we are going to bend both knees now and straighten. If you stay on the knees, you're still doing the one leg. Okay, so that's your alternate movement. Now hold the plank, time, hold the plank. I'm not sure if you can hear that timer. <laughs> now for those of you only on the toes, we go back to single. Single, single. Time. Woo. I'm going to give myself a bit of a breather. <laughs> Hold the plank if you can. Woo. All right. For those of you only on the toes, both knees. Whew. You know, when I wrote this out, it seemed like a really good idea. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to hold a modified plank for the 10 seconds, and I'm going to be really proud of myself with that. So, whew. all right. Full plank, single leg. It's the upper body, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Whew. 
time. I'm going to hold the alternative here. It's still burning. All right, crew. This is it. The last one. Both of them, if you can. This is kind of an epic workout. We're already at 41 minutes. Whew. You don't have to go to work today, do you? You do, Tina. Time. <laughs> My friend Tina needs to go to work, I know. All right, sit back on your heels. Walk those hands forward. Oh, my goodness me. All right. I know this has gone a little long, but please don't leave me. We're doing the yummy part now, the stretches. So please join me on this. If you need a sip of water, by all means, come on up. Grab a sip. We're moving into a hip flexor stretch. Knee underneath the hip. Other leg out. Good. So we want ankle and knee aligned. Now tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze that glute. Lift the arm straight up, separating rib to hip, and then lean away. Whew. That's a good sweat. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you again for joining me. Take that hand now, the outside of the knee, but don't allow that knee to cave in. Be strong and then use that as a little bit of um, leverage here so you can twist, walk the other hand around your hamstring or glute, look over that shoulder. And back to center, let's straighten this front leg now. If you have yoga blocks, build up the ground. It's much nicer on this stretch. Otherwise, you're gonna come forward we're trying to do that hip hinge. So if you find that you're really rounding to get yourself down, I want you to come up and you'll find something to hold on to to help maintain that spine. You know, wear and tear on the spine is serious business, especially as we get older, right? Because that's what it is. It's wear and tear. Um, a lot of disc issues are related to age and posture. So we can't do anything about age. <laughs> but we can about posture. So we'll work on that. Whew, let's do the other side. All right. So knee under hip on that ground, other ankle and knee aligned, tuck the tailbone under. So I want you to really squeeze that glute there. Lift the arm straight up and then lean away. Just slow down the breath. Feel the stretch in the front of your hip all down the side of the body. Bring the hand to the outside of the leg. Again, don't allow that knee to cave in. Twist, look over the shoulder. Walk the other hand around the hamstring or hip. And really straighten this leg. Try your best to hip hinge. Come forward. And have a seat on your ground. Left legs in front. Grab onto your left thigh. Reach the left arm up and over. And then turn your gaze to the inside of your elbow. Creating an even deeper stretch into that left side of the body. So you won't be mirroring me now. Come to center, straighten the left leg now, go here. All right, press the back of the knee to the mat, hands behind, nice and tall with the spine, guide yourself forward. Release, right shin in front. Take that right arm straight up. This one's going to grab onto the outside of the right thigh. Lean away. 
Turn your gaze to the inside of that right elbow. Back to center, straighten this right leg now. It's right in front of you, back of the knees pressing into your mat, toes straight up, hands come behind you, press yourself forward, stretching into the hamstring again. And release, getting deeper into hip while we also stretch into the front of the body on your stomach, arms in a T position, palms facing down, lined up with your shoulders. Let's pick the left leg up, bend the left knee and rotate onto that right arm, slide the left hand and then press yourself up a bit to really get that stretch into that right arm, right side of chest. Now, my left foot just resting on the ground. You want more of a stretch. You walk it back more, and you'll feel that in the front of the hip and thigh. Gaze is going to be up a bit. A couple of breaths. And then as best you can, you want to relax the rest of the muscles in the body. Back to center. Left arm extends, palm down. Right leg lifts. Bend at the knee. Roll onto that left side. Bring that. Right hand now in front of you, press into the ground so we roll further onto that left arm. Look up a bit. If you want more of a stretch, step that right foot back a bit more. Release, elbows underneath the shoulders, pull the shoulders away from the earlobes, drop the hips down, look up and then bring the chin in. Let's continue that, look up, chin in. Spinal extension while we work into some range of motion for the neck. One more. And hold the head still, looking straight ahead. If you desire, you can press yourself up, create more extension in the spine, but you shouldn't feel pinching in your low back. If you do, tighten up your glutes. Just means you're tight in that lower lumbar area. So am I. <laughs> and uh, we don't want that pinching. But we do want to encourage this extension pattern because we do tend to flex the spine a lot with our day-to-day -day living. So I encourage you, you know, you're watching the news. You're Netflixing tonight for New Year's Eve. You know, lay down on the ground. Extend the spine. Your low back will be really happy for it. Ears away from the shoulders. And release. Now we're gonna pull the knees into the chest. If you have a, a sweatshirt you wanna put on to keep yourself warm, so you're just gonna stay down here for a couple of breaths. But knees to chest, and if you want, you can add movement to that. And straighten the legs. Pop the legs apart and just let the feet turn out. Bring the arms down by your side, palms facing up. Fingertips are curled. Now lift the head up, slide the chin in, and now lower the head. So we've created some length in the back of your neck. Close your mouth. Just have that breath come in nice and easy through the nose. Close your eyes. Just feel the ground support you. Feel the air on your skin. And feel that breath going deep into the lungs. Continue this nice, easy breathing rhythm. Don't force it. 
mentioned earlier that I found a beautiful poem that I wanted to share with you. So as you breathe, allow me to read it to you. If there's one thing that I may tell you, let it be. You are your home. Your body is the only house that you will truly ever own. Maybe it's got some broken windows and there are tear stains on the floors. Maybe you lock the things you wish weren't behind its many doors. But there is wisdom on its bookshelves and a laugh to light the rooms. There's a vase upon its table where the love you've grown all blooms. Dreams sit on the mantelpiece next to kindness and your trust. Where you use them all so often, they have no time to collect dust. So please, don't look at mansions with that envy in your eyes. There's more that makes a home than its appearance or its size. Your body is your shelter, so you deserve to love it all. Don't let the world stand round outside and tell you how to paint your walls. How lucky that you have somewhere to protect you from the night. And if there are cracks left from the past, well then, they just let in more light. Your Home by Aaron Hansen. I thought that was appropriate as you're going to be getting inundated with a ton of new you, new year ads, juice cleanses, lose weight, change your appearance. And I think we need to love who we are now because he or she has gotten us this far in life. Thank you so much for joining me. I have tears in my eyes that you all showed up. You spent the morning with me, some of you the afternoon, some of you the evening. And I am truly appreciative for you, your support, and your love. Any goal that you have moving forward in the new year, I support you, and I am there for you. Mwah! Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Let me come on over and take a look at these comments. So I can feel like you're here with me. Aw, oh, whoa, look at you guys. Chelsea, hi, honey. Oh, look at you guys. Oh, hi, Rose. Hi, Janice. Oh, the crew from Christy. She has the best little family. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, like I said, it, I'm truly honored and always humbled when I see anybody watch one of my workouts that's, you know, not a personal friend or a family member. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Diane. Oh, my goodness. Lisa. Mwah. And for those of you in the UK, uh, you know, LH and I are hoping to head there in May, COVID depending, and we'll have a big meetup. I recognize the UK is a big country, so you may not be able to make it. Um, I believe we'll be around Manchester area, I believe. And for those of you in Italy, we're doing a full-on tour, again, COVID-dependent, through Italy. Hi, Joy. Hi, Anna. Georgie. Robin. Oh, look at you guys. Thank you so much. Final day of 2021. Tammy, come to MA. Is that Massachusetts? I would love to. I would love to travel the states. Oh, Teresa, tears in eyes. I know the poem. Oh, it hit me right there. I, I went looking for you guys for a good poem for us to finish this new year. And that was just so beautiful. So beautiful. And it rhymes. <laughs> I like ones that rhyme. I'll tell you what, if you're on the email list, um, next week, I'll attach that poem on the email so you can have it. I really think it's a good one to refer back to when we start comparing ourselves to others. Jackson, PJ didn't reply me. Oh, sorry, what did you ask? Sorry, I just got here. Jackie, I'm your daughter's favorite. She's not even nine. Awesome. See, I'm training them under the age of nine. 
Jackson, what's your question? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Happy New Year to the old us, 63, <laughs> Rick and Mural. Oh. Don't forget, you guys, if you're not part of Patreon or Over 50 Fitness and you haven't already, go sign yourself up for the 25 and 25 challenge. Yes, it's the same challenge that we ran in September, but it's so much more doable and you'll stay motivated if you do it with a group. So you'll get daily emails. Um, yeah, you'll get a template when you... you um, Jesus Junkie, <laughs> what a great name. Hello, new subby. You'll get, um, my question is how I lose my weight. Actually, I'm new here. Okay, well, that's a big question, Jackson. So um, if you're looking for weight loss, there are some programs on the website. JRC in the UK, awesome. We're gonna meet in the pub too. We're not doing a workout. <laughs> Becky, aw, oh, thank you. Your granddaughter Nancy watches my workouts and makes her own work makes her own workouts and she's five. Awesome. I better watch my language, shouldn't I? Teresa, we share a love of Puerto Vallarta. You know, you guys, if you've never been to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, I really recommend it. Um, it was yeah, the people, oh my goodness, the people are so amazing. They really um they have such a great sense of humor. They poke fun at themselves. Nothing bothers them. I just so much North Americans could learn from that. Sound was good. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I already forgot. Woo. Okay, good. Good to know. Hey, Valerie. That's one of my local peeps. I think. Or are you still in Paris? Are you still in France? I don't think you are. I think you're back home. Jana got her hair done yesterday and she want, all the ladies wanted to know her secret. <laughs> the secret is, well, I just lead the way, Jana. The secret is your determination. Pennsylvania, that's another place I want to visit. When LH and I uh, were, were hopeful in the next few years to buy a big camper and we want to cruise across Canada and then come home through the States and we will... Um, Broadcast that on social media and maybe we can meet some of you guys. It would be fun. Thanks for joining, Deb. Susan wants to know where George is. How he went outside. <laughs> Bella left too. Bella left during the warm up, but she ran. I don't know if you saw her tail, but she ran just underneath um, uh, the uh, the laptop. Uh, Jesus Junkie is from Boring, Boring, Lincoln, Nebraska. Hey, man, I'm from Boring, Tawasin, but you know, it's sometimes boring is nice, though. <laughs> Karen, just found this. Happy New Year. Thank you, Karen. Make sure you go sign, sign yourself up for the 25 and 25 challenge. Ah, Patty. Yes, campground meetup. Perfect. Hi, Julie. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, Rosie. <laughs> Nessie, her dog was licking her face the last bit. I wish mine was. All right, Teresa, Toronto. Jane, if you're buying drinks, I'm there. Jane's going to buy drinks when we all go to Phoenix. Jackie, awesome. Oh, Carly's still here. Hi, Carly. Everybody say hi to Carly. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for Carly, there would be no fitness with PJ. Um, uh, Carly, mwah, thank you for coming today. I really appreciate it, babe. Carly is, I don't know what to call her. I don't like to call her my assistant. She's truly my better half here. Um, I, have, I have a few people that help me out here. But Carly, I would be a raving alcoholic if I did not have her. There we go, Carly. You're getting the love. Right hand gal. Yes, right and left. <laughs> oh, thanks, Michael. Patty, Alabama. Awesome.
Ooh, Brooks, drinks in Boston. Yes. Can we go see a baseball game? All the Patreon peeps are like, hey, Carly, hey, Carly. If you enjoyed the walking workout, the step workout that I did where we, we walk for 5,000 steps, well, 5,000-ish steps that we released last Monday, you have Carly to thank. I look amazing after the vacation. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the the belly's got, you know, a few pina coladas in it and margaritas, burritos, tacos. Yeah, so well. Another day. <laughs> Just eat a bit more salad. Um, how long are the monthly workouts in the calendar? How long are they? Uh, you know what? Email me. We'll, we'll answer your questions regarding Patreon there. But the workouts do range anywhere from 20 to 45, 50 minutes. <laughs> See you later, Idaho. <laughs> Colorado mountains are calling me. Yes. Yes. And you know why we want to bring the camper? Because we want to bring the dogs. So we'll be traveling. We'll be traveling. But right now, I think we all have to sit tight now, don't we? <laughs> Bye, Christina. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you signed up for Patreon. Awesome. We'd love to see you over there. Uh, everybody here is from Patreon. Uh, oh, Beth here to tell me I'm even more gorgeous live. Thank you. That's because I shaved my armpits, isn't it, Beth? <laughs> Bye, Adrian. Chicago, yes. Let's go to Chicago. Not during the winter, though. Sorry. Cheers, Diana. Thank you for joining. Thanks, Lynn. Happy New Year, Jackson. How's that? <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> Mary Lett, yeah. Uh, Patty hasn't shaved her legs. You know, you guys don't have to shave your legs or your armpits because you're working out at home. That's actually one of my selling features. I actually run an ad about that, about how you don't even have to shave your legs. But when you're on the other side of the camera, you kind of have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. <laughs> see you, Georgie. We'll see you Monday for the challenge. Thanks for coming, Jill. Joy has a tiny camper and a tiny dog. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy New Year, Karen, Mark. Mwah. Take care, Mark, all right? We got this. You know what I mean. Mwah to you too, Maria. Bye, Kirsten. All right, you guys. I'm going to sign off now. This will be live if you want to... Do the workout again. It was a lot of fun. Um, over 50 Fitness, we've already posted one similar to this um, for you. It's on the site for you, ads free. So big virtual hugs to all of you. A happy new year. Please continue to be safe, healthy, and um, yeah, find some find a good time tonight, no matter what you're doing. All right. Bye. <laughs>